I'm gonna tell a guy, look, have my daughter back by nine. Not why, 901, not 930, <laughs> 9 o'clock. And if why? you don't have her back by 9 o'clock, these all the guys are going to be coming after your ass. Hello guys, welcome to Chow Talk episode 7, and today we have my lady, Chanel Mine, who all you guys have been asking for in the comments. We got some dope content, can't wait for you guys to see it, let's get it. What's up guys, welcome to Chow Talk episode 7, and today I have my beautiful lady, my fiance, Chanel Mine. glad to have her back on the show. Chanel Mine, what you got to say for the people? Hey guys, happy to be back in the show. Glad to have you back on the show. Can I get a kiss, please? Oh, of you course, You look beautiful. Babe. Anytime. You look amazing. Well, you know this this sweater I got in your closet. <laughs> Put it on. You, bought you. you look amazing. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so we got some fun topics today. The first topic I want to get into, you know, is the world is kind of going crazy over uh, this whole dating thing. What is a good first date? What is a bad first date? Mm -hmm. What is a good What is a good first date to a lady? Explain to me, uh, you know. I think going to the movies is a good first date for lots of lots of reasoning. But tell me, who you take tell, on the first date to the movies? I you think going, take me. I think going to the movies <laughs> is a great first date for lots of reasons. You can always get cozy in the movie theater, you know. Always get the Netflix and chill, you know. Get a great movie and chill, popcorn, snuggle up on side each other, you know. Okay. But tell me, what's a good first date for you? Okay, so my a good first date for me. Is getting picked up in a white Porsche, <laughs> going to Talk the top me, of a rooftop and eating some nice sushi, and then going down to the beach and having some drinks mm -hmm. um, by the bar, and then missing your flight. And That's then all stuff you did. <laughs> going to um, going on a second date. That is a great. Miss your flight First, so you can go on the second date, right? That's what you're saying? Accidentally really mix your flight. missing your flight and going on a second date. Lucky guy. Okay. <laughs> so what is it. a bad date then? So, so explain to, to the fans what is a bad date. A bad date is a pl taking a girl to a place where you can't really hear her. So mm -hmm. somewhere really loud. I like would... the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you say the movie's just bad. That is a bad Somebody first told day. me before I asked you that they said the movie's gonna be a bad one. Shout out to my guy Tony. He said the movie's was gonna be a bad first date. Yes. Because the you, you can't hear when you're in the movies. But I said the movies is great because if you take her to see a scary movie, she's all up top she's all over you. And then after the movie you can you guys can talk about what happened on the ride home, make it lead to some other things. So that's why I thought the movie was a great first date. Well, the movies is Basically, you're telling her mm -hmm. and giving her a signal that you want to smash. So mm -hmm. getting co cozy and, you know, her all over you, that is not a good first date for a woman because a one, woman, a real woman, wants to be heard. Mm -hmm. And a good, you know, taking her to a place that um, you guys can have a good conversation. Mm -hmm. The way that you took me on, on my first date is the perfect Hold first date. Hold on, I got a question for you. So basically, basically you said a brother can't smash on the first date. I'm saying that a woman, a woman, <laughs> you shouldn't put that much pressure on a woman. Okay. You know, give her some time to get to know you a Got little it. bit before, you know, she, that happens. Before y'all get the go, before y'all yeah, get going. All right, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that fair? All right. That's fair. <laughs> fair. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to know, who pays on the first date? Is it the guy? You know, women typically going out. With a guy, they're going to expect the guy to pay, correct? Yes. Because if the woman pay, I guess it's not a good sign for okay, the man. Let me explain, babe. Okay? My test is 
and what I usually like to do, mm -hmm. I like to offer to pay on the first date. Yep. And if the man allows me to pay on the first date, I'll never go on a date with him ever again. Ooh. Never again. Are y'all women listening? You, you know why? That's a good, that's no, no. good, that's great. Listen, you that's know why? That's a great why? setup. The reason why is because I just get so turned off. So I just won't ever that is just a test. That's some player shit though. Me. That's some player shit. Like that's some <laughs> I've been schooled before type shit. I, I've never heard of that before. I never heard of that. Like yeah. so she's saying she's gonna offer to pay. And if the man says, Okay, you can pay, babe, it's a red flag from Yeah, I'll it's a red never, flag from I'll jump. never ever go on another date with with the dude, like ever again. That's really player. That's sexy. I like that. <laughs> But That's you sexy. just insisted on just and yeah. the whole day you know, was just all about Mom raised me, me right so. away, you know. So, you know, the so. second date I was going to pay for, the first date I was going to pay for, even though, you know, you missed your flight, you know, you, you was. <laughs> you, you paid. Yeah, I was going to make just, sure you're straight. So I didn't even have to test you because 100%. I just felt like your energy was giving, you know mm -hmm. what, I, I got you. I'm going to yeah. take care of 100%. you, you know, and you always have. So. Always. So I want to know, and of course, I think a lot of other people want to know because, you know, I never asked you this. Mm -hmm. What's the best date I took you on? I would say <laughs> our first date is the best date only because you left me the with... first date? Well, because you gave me butterflies and it was the connection. It doesn't okay. take much, okay. you know. So that was like the best date for me. But let's talk about... Um, vacation because we are world travelers and we world love travelers. to travel. Travel. And one of my favorite vacations that you have taken me on is Capri. Can we talk about Capri? Capri? Oh, <laughs> yes. Capri was special. <laughs> so Capri special. is our daughter named Capri. Capri Summer Gotcha. And Capri were, I proposed to Chanel. Mm -hmm. uh, Chanel was thinking she was going on a Baby moon. Like a baby moon, take pictures and all that, you know, just enjoying <laughs> herself before she had the baby. Mm -hmm. And I rushed out to uh, JK Place, the hotel we were staying at, which is very nice. I highly recommend it. Mm, uh, my favorite. Re rushed out to the people there and uh, got some great spots to propose. And I fell in love with a spot over the ocean, looking into the mountains. The, the view is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, I hired the guys who uh, took pictures with us for Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. Two years ago, so you know that was that was amazing. They it was kind of came out of nowhere. It was kind of like, like an easy setup because because <laughs> they was already in Europe, so uh, you yeah. know it was very special. I wanted to get something to be like memorable. Yeah, uh, a great spot over the ocean, Mountain View, and it was amazing. She thought she was, um, she thought she was about to take pictures just on a on a baby moon, and she turned <laughs> around, and I ended up was down on me, and you know I was nervous before. I was getting drinks at the bar, so it was crazy. I was getting drinks because not. Not nervous, knowing that she was going to say no. I knew she was going to say yes the whole time, but it's just my first time doing it. And, you know, just me uh, trying to plan it all out. I had a, a big dozen of roses, red roses for her. It was, it was amazing. It was, it was pretty good. So that was, that's, that's why Capri is very remarkable to us. And, of course, it's, it's our baby girl name, so it's very mm -hmm. special to us. So you know my show is about fashion and sports. Mm -hmm. Our show. <laughs> One my day, show. Our show. Chow Talk, because your last name is going to be Gotcha very soon. So, you know, it's going to be Snelly Mind Gotcha. I cannot but wait. <laughs> our show. So this is our show. Okay. So one thing I want to ask you that I didn't ask you in the last show. Mm. Give me your favorite highlight of fashion. One of your most favorite highlights of being in fashion. Oh, there's so many. Um, okay. This is one of my highlights of my career. And it was very special to me. Mm -hmm. I got to walk for Tom Ford for his very first show ever. Shout out to Tom Ford. And then he invited me to be his date, and he took me to the Met Gala as his muse. So I think that was very, very rewarding special. and special to me as a model. Tom Ford made my whole, <laughs> my whole career just... Perfect. Special, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now that we're talking about the Met Gala, a lot of people don't know about the Met Gala, or if they do know, a lot of people see the, you know, the pictures going up the stairs and all that. But explain to folks what it's like to get inside the museum, what it's like being I inside the museum in, in the Met Gala. Explain to folks. It's so 
when I was a teenager, I didn't even know what the Met Gala was. That was the first time Anna Wintour gave me an invitation. And by the way, Anna Wintour has to get in, invite you, personally invite you to the Met Gala for you mm -hmm. to be able to attend. So it's not something where you can just like pop up, pop up or like, hey, can I go? No, yeah. it's like a personal invitation from Anna. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, you know, it was because I was so young, um, I missed going to um, a prom that was my prom <laughs> and so um, just being on the carpet with a bunch of Hollywood actresses and you know top models that I look up to it was uh, it was just cool as a teenager to just to be standing there and taking pictures next to your favorites you Would know you, and then you go moment? in and then you're you're sitting down and you're having conversations and you're like with your favorites you know um, artist or your yeah. favorite model that's hanging on on your walls so it was pretty cool as a teenager and just like even now i mean if i get invited i think it's it's something fun to get dressed up and i would well, love to go to the met gala with you babe. Yeah. that'd Maybe be so day. much fun Maybe i think you would love it because you're so day. into fashion and Maybe you just, one day we can pull that off that would be really dope Maybe anna if you see this video you know who to invite <laughs> invite your favorite couple <laughs> So we have two fan questions for the show, and I want to ask my lady, Chanel Iman, two fan questions. What is some advice you can give somebody that you're in a relationship with that doesn't have their parents' support? A relationship is between you and that person. Mm -hmm. So I think that advice that I can give to someone is that if they don't have the support from the parents. Um, it's if your relationship is genuine and it's real, eventually the parents will grow into loving you. Um, and it really shouldn't, parents shouldn't validate y'all relationship. Okay. To me, to answer that question, to me, it's all about actions. And if, you know, I'm dating uh, someone's daughter and I'm telling uh, dad that I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. I'm going to, you know, treat your daughter with respect and treat your daughter the right way like you would treat her. My actions is going to prove everything. You know, me just talking to the dad and telling him what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. you know, kind of really don't mean much. My actions is going to show you that I'm going to treat your daughter with respect and I'm going to treat your daughter as in if, if you was dating her, you know. So actions always speak louder than words, always have, always will. So my thing to someone, if they was going through that, just 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 let your action speak don't let your mouth speak let your action speaks and uh i think everything else will do the rest so i have a question babe being that you have a daughter do you treat your lady differently now that you do have a daughter i have more sympathy for it and i you know it gives me a, a different point of view to to not to react to stuff so uh so uh out of control i would just leave it at that you know i would just it kind of give me a, a pause patience and a more pause moment to be like, you know, I can understand what you're dealing with, you know, I have a daughter now, you know, so it gives me the, the a point of view of a woman more. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think it, it, it's definitely going to change me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't feel it just yet, but maybe it is changing me, but I don't feel it just yet. I think but, so. but you know, maybe it's going to change me. It's going to change me and it's going to always change, change you for the better. So, you know, uh, you know, I wanted to have a daughter, so I'm, I'm blessed to have a daughter. I'm blessed to have a daughter with you. So, uh, you know, Hopefully, you know, it uh, changed me for the better, you know, because I'm, I'm always looking to, you know, change is good. Ch mm -hmm. Change is good for, for the most part. Uh, so, you know, having a little Capri is going to be, definitely is going to be good. A life changing thing. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to be like a strict dad or are you going to be an easy dad when it comes to who your daughter, ah. <laughs> who your daughter chooses in uh, life? I don't know the movie, but it's the movie with 50 Cent, Ice Cube, Son. <laughs> It's the movie when they was robbing banks and stuff, and uh, 50 Cent daughter had a guy come over to take her to prom. You're going to scare him. And he it's introduced what you're him you're to all Capri. his friends. <laughs> they was in the gym lifting weights, and the guy looked like he was scared to death. And I'm not going to do that yes, until you are. my daughter get ready to go to prom. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to tell the guy, look, have my daughter back by 9. Not why, 901, and, and not 930, <laughs> 9 o'clock. And if why? you don't have her back by 9 o'clock, 
these all the guys are going to be coming after your ass. So I'm definitely going to be a strict dad, but I'm definitely going to let my daughter have freedom too. But I'm definitely going to be that dad to be like, you seen my daughter? Where my daughter at? So I'm definitely going to be that dad uh, like that. Just, you know, just kind of just, because this is a crazy world we live in. You know, a lot of things are happening, mass shootings, uh, a lot of crazy things. So I'm definitely going to be that dad that's always on his P's and Q's when it comes to his children, his family. You know, it's, it's a crazy world we're living in right now, crazy times right now. So uh, I'm definitely going to be that dad that definitely be on the lookout. I wouldn't say strict. I'd more say be on head on a swivel. Definitely. If you know Devon, you know Devon don't play. Yeah. So <laughs> He does not play about the woman he left. Yeah. The women 100%. he loves the in women, his life. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. So the second question that the fans want to know, we're going to talk about a little bit off subject. Okay. OnlyFans. You know, I know a lot of women generate money from OnlyFans. Women and men generate money from OnlyFans account. Uh, if your significant other had an OnlyFans, mm -hmm. and I could be ex you can be asking me, to, you could be asking me the same question. If someone you knew had an OnlyFans <laughs> and it generate great monthly income for them, how would you feel about that? Would you tell that significant other to stop? Or would you encourage him to keep doing it to, to generate money for our family? Well, is it because um, the person is afraid of what friends and family are going to say? Because I think if that's the case, if you are scared about what other people are going to say, mm -hmm. you should keep the OnlyFans mm -hmm. up. And I feel like as long as you and your partner are comfortable with the OnlyFans, who cares what other people think? 100%. I was going to uh, say the same thing. Uh, doesn't really matter. You know, uh, I think she, she'll she never have an OnlyFans, so we can <laughs> cut that. That's never happening. And I'd never have an OnlyFans. But just speaking to, to couples who do have an OnlyFans, and it, it generates uh, great money for their family and their household, mm -hmm. whatever makes you happy, that's my, that's my take on it. Whatever makes you happy, you know, do whatever makes uh, you feel comfortable. Uh, you know, don't don't really uh, care what people got to say outside because people always got to say, everybody always have an opinion. Mm -hmm. Opinions are for assholes. Mm -hmm. Everybody always got something to say. So whatever makes you happy in your family household, whatever pays your bills, and whatever makes you, most important thing, being comfortable with yourself, looking yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. So if you think OnlyFans is the way to, for you to... Uh, you and your, your significant other to generate money for the household? Who am I to judge you? Who is she to judge you? You know, we're not judging people at all. So if that makes you happy, do it. Like Nike, just do it. So, <laughs> But uh, I want to thank uh, Chanel for coming on to Char Talk Episode 7. She's going to be a daily member. So it's going to be, you know, me and Chanel show. She's going to be a daily member. So I know all the fans are always looking for it to send Chanel on the show. She's going to be here. She's not going nowhere. You know, keep, uh, asking, keep questions. asking questions. <laughs> keep commenting under the uh, segments and under the every episode. We love you guys. We wish you guys a very uh, happy holidays coming up. I know Thanksgiving is coming up. We're a couple of weeks away. Mm -hmm. We're about to enter November. We want to wish you guys a happy holidays early from Chanel and Devon. And uh, we love you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Yes, and we have a great episode coming very soon. Soon, very soon, yeah. Very soon, so. See ya. Bye. So now that me and Chanel talked about all the goodies, let me show you my week nine game day fit. Let's go. Now that I showed you my fit, let me show you my best dressed athletes for week nine. Let's go. Thank you guys for tuning in to Chalk Talk episode seven. See ya.